Hey everyone, this is a video about how I convert audiobooks from CDs into a audiobook for an iPod. The iPod format will actually save a bookmark of where you leave the audiobook. So if you leave and go listen to some music and then return to the audiobook, it will actually save your location in the audiobook. That way you don't have to read go through the book and find your location. Uh, it will just save it for you. Uh, another reason why I do this is because when you import the audiobook from the CDs, it saves it as multiple different tracks. And what you can do is merge it all into one large file. That way it's easier to keep track of where the files are. Uh, so I will show you how to do that. All right, guys, this is how you do it. First off, you need to make sure that you have a couple of pieces of software. You need to make sure that you have iTunes. Yeah, you're doing this for an iPod. Obviously, you have iTunes already. If not, free download. Second off, you need to make sure that you have chapter and verse. Uh, chapter and verse, you just do a Google search for it. You'll find it. It's pretty easy to find. Pretty small file. Come back to that in a minute. When you import your disks, you need to make sure that you import them as a certain file type. Uh, you go up here to file, Edit, Preferences, and Import Settings. And this needs to be an AAC encode. If you do it as anything else, as an MP3 or a WAV, this process will actually convert those files back into an AAC file, which just doubles up on your files and makes the whole project pretty big. So once you make sure that's the case, and you go ahead and import your disks, I've already done that. Once you've done that, you can open up chapter and verse. First thing I always do is go down here and make sure that this is marked as do not sort. That way you can make sure that it's all added in the correct order and your book won't jump around to different spots, which doesn't make it too fun to listen to. Go over here to add files. I've already found my files. Uh, this is disk one. You just go in here, hit control A, add everything, hit open, and then I'll just add it in. It does some processing, make sure everything's up back to back. I'll do one more disk, I'll show you. Uh, if you do too many disks at a time, Chapter and verse will give you a warning telling you that it's too big and that some iPods have a problem playing it. So I usually, if, if it's a long book, I usually split it into two or three files. This one's pretty short, so you could just add all four disks. I'll just add two just to show you. This next step is just kind of a matter of preference. You can leave all of these chapters how they are. I believe that these correspond to the tracks from the original CDs. I prefer to have my tracks about every 10 minutes. It's just easier for me. You can do whatever you want, 5 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever. Then you just want to go over here, check your data, make sure that it's all correct. Title, artist. Uh, usually it has some weird stuff in the album, but this one's not bad. And then that's all you do. Uh, you go down here to the old audio book. It'll ask you where to save it. Just hit save. And then once that's done, it'll ask you if you want to import it into iTunes. You just hit yes, and you can add it into your iPod. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your audiobooks.